Jamarcus Russell. Number two, got a serious question, my nigga. Oh, <laughs> and about that my nigga thing, Jamarcus. Here's another question before that serious question, okay? If I had walked on to the Raiders and manned up on Tim Brown and said, beat me deep, my nigga, okay? And since I was catching him from behind when I played at Notre Dame, yeah, he was on a fucking reverse. They were running away from me. I had dropped him for a, something lost in the backfield, you know what I'm saying? Thinking, you know what, Timmy Heisman, should I let you have that one to build your confidence? I was actually thinking that, dog, you know? And uh, you know what? When I got fired for making the play, Jamarcus Russell, um, I quit football, straight up. Can you imagine Lou Holtz knowing that I'm so fucking fast and he's throwing the game, you know, shaving points, and he has to order me to stay home, you know, sell my teammates up, you know, no I in team, my niggas, you know, everybody that benefited from what happened at Notre Dame, me saving six points, white LT, me getting fucked, all right? Serious question, Jamarcus Russell, were you actually on the block? Drinking 40s and worse with your homeboys? You know, when you should have been, like, studying fucking for practicing games? They let you get away with that, dog? Straight up, if I was your teammate, I would have kicked your black ass and said, get the fucking gear. You got way too much talent to be fucking around, and you probably got a lot of mouths to feed. Not kids, per se, but family back in the hood where you came from. Um, Yeah, you probably came from a... <laughs> fucking all white school, you know, you're the only black kid in it. Anyhow, um, it's like this, dog. Yeah, straight up. If I had walked onto the Raiders, anybody playing for him, and I could shut Alan Pinkett down, man for man, because I've got jets, and when I'm spun like a monkey on Stevie and Weed right now, oh, you know what, Tim Brown, this is a fact, dog. And you've got the money to validate this. Get it famous, okay? And save Notre Dame, homie. Straight up, my body was failing. A once superior fucking model, dog. Casing Tim Brown from behind. You know what? Doing spectacular things. If I had actually walked onto the NFL, guess what? I'm probably not getting cut. Well, let me ask you guys a question, seriously. If there was a scrub fucking coach that was telling me what's up, you know, and I didn't like him. And I said, you know what, punk, check this out. I've had enough of your shit. You know, guys just like you. If you don't shut your mouth, I'm going to beat your punk ass. Would I have gotten in trouble? And then if I had beaten his punk ass, all right, would I have gotten fine? You know what I'm saying? I mean, here I am covering black guys man to man, making a play, doing basically, at that time, anything that I pretty much wanted to, I thought, you know, football-wise, you know, uh, I was a for sure thing, wasn't I, Timmy Heisman? You know what I'm saying? If I walk onto the Raiders, dog, and I caught you from behind, and I'm a white boy, and I'm going down and exploding the fucking wedge in uh, kickoffs and shit, do you think that people all around America are wearing 41 jerseys going, oh my God, Dan Quinn? And then, I'm not sure about that bad boy thing happening. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, now, see, if Holtz hadn't fucked me, and had actually given me credit if Jack Ham and crew hadn't fucked me, okay? Check this out, gents. This is a fact. Disclaimer. I will never do anything illegal. Timmy Heisman Brown. Don't have to, dog, okay? I've got Stevia curing, my nigga, all right? Now, is that going to cause some controversy? You know what? Because I'm thinking since I've had brothers that I really respect tell me that I can say my nigga, what's up to them, and then fact is, them, I would shut them down on the football field, and you, right now, you're what, older than me, you ain't faster than you were, unless you gear up on Stevie and Weed and shit, and I'm faster when I gear up on Stevie and Weed, Timmy Brown, because guess what, started taking Stevia, started feeling a lot better, dog, feeling a lot better, and I was smoking weed, and the combination was euphoric, as a matter of fact, generally when people smoke hash, you know, the bomb, which this is, and side note, you got shake and you want it turned into a dude that did a 4-4, Timmy Heisman, straight up. You know, I said, well, what's your 40? He was this half and half milky brother. <laughs> he said 4-4. And then I showed him the play and he didn't want to go out in front, you know, at the 
Silicon Valley Athletic Club when I told these older sexy women that basically I had the speed to walk on to pretty much any NFL team that I wanted to and say, all right, you know what? You guys would like me and uh, you know, I'm just here for one day. So, you know, give me your best, man. Let's just do this quick, get it over, done with. And if anybody has a problem, instead of fucking playing football, let's just throw on gloves, man, and fucking handle it. Because, you know what I'm thinking? Back in the day, there really wasn't anybody that I was fearing too much. I would have thought twice about fucking with Cedric Figaro. One, because I liked him. And two, because he was savage. You know what I'm saying? So that would have been a fucked up thing. But good thing we were friends. And then Mike Perino, okay? Mm -hmm. What's up, horse head? You know what? You were a bad motherfucker, man. Too bad James Fitzpatrick was a dump truck and got drafted in the first round. And they had to keep him financially, right? Because you could pass block. You just never got your chance. And this is the time, if you're not retired forever, for you to step up and start telling the truth about Dan Quinn. You know what? I turned my back on a game that I loved, Timmy Heisman. Want to know why? I would have had many coaches murdered, dog, straight up. And the irony of this is that the deeper that I got into the quote-unquote criminal underworld, the cooler I was like, these guys are fucking cool, man. Straight up. Not like what is sometimes portray, you know, like on the screen. And I'll tell you what, Donald Trump, I would kick your ass at your own game, okay? With some select motherfuckers that I know. Brilliant, okay? They've been in the pen, uh, been in jail, you know, weren't born with silver spoons in their mouth, didn't have any opportunity. So what they did is grew elephant balls and did things, okay? And then people ratted out, yep, 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 yep. You know what? Uh, they weren't fucking handed shit, okay? I'm not calling you a pump. I'm saying that most of the people that are on your show are, all right? They have no backbone. If they got fucking locked up, they would be selling their ass first thing, okay? Oh my God, you know what? Uh, straight up, you guys can do a movie, Red Dorm, okay? Straight up, me shaving, the black head houseman coming in, to these guys, he get away with it with them. Same thing to me. Me going, you talking to me? Him going, yeah. Who do you think I'm talking to? Me walking up and saying, say it again, dog. And I bet you it doesn't fucking escape your mouth and I'm planting you in the fucking ground. And this ain't fucking racial. That ain't eggplant, dog. Okay? Go ahead, man. What's up? And him not saying shit. Then me going to my bunk and laying down and reading. And a table full. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Black hat houseman comes up to me. He goes, roll your shit up. Roll your shit up. That's like fucking, I'm in trouble. Reassign me. You know what? I'm like, fuck. Fuck you, punk. And he goes, no, roll your shit up. And I said, fuck you. And he goes, well, I'm going to roll it up for you. I'm going to the fishbowl. I'm going to rat you out. And I said, do that. When I get out of here, I'm killing you. Dog, you're done. Straight up. Rat me out, bitch. And I'm going to fight your cardboard fucking house or wherever it is that you kick it with. And you know what? <laughs> Anyways, long story short, a table full of... I don't know, 10, 12, 14 brothers. Angry black men. Got every right to be angry, Tim Brown. I don't know why. Uh, Lincoln's lie, dog. Uh, freeing the slaves. He just gave them their walking papers, <laughs> kicked them out the door, sink or swim in an economic maelstorm. They, yeah, straight up. They create controversy economically on purpose. You know what? Uh, yeah, they make more money that way and shit. And they were the slaves, you know, uh, at the bottom again. No reparations, no schools, no sorry for theft, rape, murder, you know. Uh, what a bullshit fucking uh, little gig that was, you know what I'm saying. Him getting all the credit and your people still being, I mean, when I say your people, everybody's people, but Timmy Brown, you're black, all right. And there was times, man, when I cried that God didn't make me the same color as Muhammad Ali. Swear to God. I swear to God. You know what? It's not like I wasn't winning blue ribbons in sprints up in L.A. And we had black kids in the school that I was racing against. Yeah, uh, they called me a white N-I-G-G-E-R my entire life, Tim Brown. And you know what? When I was at Notre Dame, dog, that was my first opportunity to actually become a millionaire. Okay? Lock. Uh, Notre Dame's priest's testimony proves that these girls were lying. Yet they still kicked me out. It was a fucking lock. All right? And Andy and Davey, straight up, I'm going to challenge somebody who's really fast, not necessarily to a foot race, okay, but I bet you I catch them. I'm talking about like taking away the inside and then, you know what, I'll run with them step for step. I'll shut them down and then things are going to start to, you know, 
get famous again. And since you guys rode my fucking coattails at San Diego High School, what, 10 motherfucking years after I'm gone, niggas, you know what? Uh, yeah, show me some love, dogs, with a little bit of the money that you got from the death of the guy that handcuffed me to a fucking tree for four and a half hours. And then he lends my mom $20,000 to defend me because I didn't try to rape this girl, for Christ's sakes. I thought my cock was, uh, I knew it was seven inches, but it disappeared in combat situations, man. Football and fights. My fucking life up to that point, straight up. So, the same fucking group of girls that set me up the year before, you know, said that I punched a bitch 17 feet down the hall. It's not like, put it like this, if I wanted to play football, Timmy Heisman, I would have got the fuck out of Notre Dame, dog. I wanted to come back and box, homie. I'm thinking, you know what, with my hand speed that people really haven't even seen, because guess what? I was sparring against Jamie Hara, I was throwing a left hook, and he hit it with a straight left hand and blew it the fuck up to where we were both like, wow, my arm like got way the fuck out there. And what happened was I got new injuries all along the scapula, okay, to where it was so painful I could hardly move it. And when I got surgery, the motherfucker saw the damn Molina injury that I told him about. I said, you're going to go in there. You're going to see this shit. Damn Molina, I didn't tap. You know what? I don't give a fuck if you fix that, okay? You know, cool. I, I've, like, overcome it. But the stuff in the back didn't touch it. And so I'm fighting my last four fights basically one-handed because I can't get in, bam, 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 like this. Can't, okay? So I can barely go like this. Changes the whole dynamics of how I'm going to fight. Now i got to stay back. And instead of going and attacking like I did at the end of Bon Lapour, where I'm only slapping with my left hand, but I'm inviting his right hand, I'm sitting on that, sitting on that, sitting, boom, and then break him off. Yeah, it's like this. Until somebody in the NFL, <laughs> unless they were like a deep jujitsu player, I mean deep, you know what, uh, and really, really strong, you know what, they're not even budging me. Well, NFL guys are different, man. You guys are, you know what, the best of the best, right? Uh, put it like this, MMA guys, nothing personal, but thank God for MMA, because if it wasn't for Dana and the UFC, what the fuck would you guys have done, okay? And while we're on the subject, I think Hector Lombard won his fight, straight up. Fucking the little clips that I've seen, I'm thinking, you know what? It, it, he, since Hector Lombard got the loss instead of the win, they're probably going to put up clips that make it look like Tim Boach, you know, was doing his best. And if Hector Lombard was doing that same shift the entire fight, it's kind of like Nick Diaz taking control against Carlos Condit. You know what? Every little clip I saw of that thing, Nick Diaz was winning that fight. But, fact is, you know, they're coming from, what, the minor leagues? And in a way to let them know, you know what, even the shitty guys, okay, at UFC can be, you know, I mean, there's always a message somewhere. You feel me? And that's part of what I wanted to get the fuck away from. I thought in boxing, <laughs> I knew there was fucked up decisions, referees, this and that. But, um, you know what, Timmy? Uh, I became human, dog, straight up. And that's where the difference is. You know, when I was catching you from behind, covering element, I mean, straight up, dog. Why doesn't my teammates get my back? I got butt fucked. I backed you guys up, okay? I saved six points, okay? Would he have had to order Cedric Figaro to stay home? Would he, <laughs> you know what, Frank Stans? Put it like this. I made a mistake and publicly talked to you like I would in the locker room, but I wouldn't have talked to you in front of near mortals, dog. You know, I mean, straight up, you know, genetic defects that fucking basically, if it wasn't for society, wouldn't even be here. Basically, fucking females with penises between their legs, straight up. You know what? But fact, dog, I would have beat your fucking ass, okay? Fact. If it hadn't been broken up, I'm saying that I could have snatched your fucking life back then. Fact, all right? I would give you my neck now, dog, all right? And I bet you wouldn't be able to tap me because I do it to people in carnage and they can't. So, you know what? It's like this. I'm fucking savagely strong and savagely fast and I turn my back on that game and it's like this. It wasn't a mistake, Tim Brown. Straight up. Um, I've watched you guys play, man. The only team that I give a fuck about is the Raiders. And I was thinking about walking on, but then I thought, you know what? No way. It's a for sure thing now because if I run across coaches, coaches that I don't like, 
I'm gonna have them fucking done, man, because there's like way too many monsters, and there's way too many women out there that would actually date a monster and lure them into like a Pulp Fiction type situation, and then they would book, you know, and then probably do it again and shit, you know, in a wig, you feel me? And then these guys, they wouldn't fucking make it out of that shit. Like with Chris Matthew, okay, go turn yourself in, you know, these motherfuckers, they're history, okay? <laughs> and I bet you if that got posted, I bet you it would go viral, dog. So can you see why I didn't want to go into the NFL? Nah, I didn't want to end up in prison. And now I don't have to. So with that said, Timmy Heisman Brown. Remember when you were running away from me, my nigga? Okay, because I'd already dropped you. And I was catching up from behind. Pretend I am a fucking racist from motherfucking hell, dog. I am the KKK. <laughs> I'm coming after you, Tim Brown. And with all your speed, dog. I'm still tracking you down, my nigga, all right? Know this, Timmy. If I can actually shut you down on video, the great Tim Brown, okay? Stevie goes viral, okay? And I'll tell you exactly what I would do. I would pretend to be Lester Hayes. I would take away the middle, and I'd say, beat me deep. You know what? And I would get a body on you, okay? And, and then let's go, man. And I'm saying that me catching you 24 years ago or whatever plus stevia plus THC making me explosively faster now than I was then before or oh, I make you look like the old kind of chubby guy that you are and my discovery will make you look young again all right so give me the opportunity and win or lose I stop talking about Notre Dame and you've done your job peace out my nigga I mean, Nymega.